baki how do you know pw only is have you followed some of the initiatives ya kaise so i had referred prahar for mains mains ke liye prahar aapne follow kiya tha acha acha thode subjects ke liye acha jinke notes wagera nahi the yes sir supplement karne ke liye okay okay आप के पी एम जी में काम कर रही है अभी क्या कर रही है एक बार इम्तिहान दे चुके हैं सर दिस इज माई सेकेंड अटेम्प्ट एम्बेसडर मंजू सेठ वरिष्ठ अधिकारी हैं भारतीय विदेश सेवा के yes, मेरा नाम दीपक बोरा है मैं उन्नीस का मॉडल हूँ जब आपके फादर साहब का भी जन्म नहीं हुआ था वो भी भारतीय विदेश सेवा <laughs> आप सीनियर पुलिस ऑफिसर हैं आई में हैं और हमारे वरिष्ठ सहयोगी हमारे साथ यहाँ मौजूद हैं आपने टॉप प्रायोरिटी भारतीय विदेश सेवा को दिया है yes, क्यों so i believe that uh, my prior, uh, earlier my interest like uh, which can be evidenced by my extra curricular activities like i had been actively participating in muns and my general interest in the geopolitical issue had exhorted me to give first preference to the service this is what i believe sir hmm. or jo aapne kaha ki aap ye simulated united nations mein participate karti hain Yes, संयुक्त राष्ट्र संघ किसी काम की संस्था है डेफिनेटली सर क्या काम करती है सर देर आर मल्टीपल फंक्शन दैट आई एफ एस इज रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर यू एन की बात कर रहा हूँ सर यू एन ओके सर यू एन वॉज फॉर्म्ड इन दफ्टर मार्थ ऑफ दू नो यस क्या करती है so basically it uh, serves as a common organization uh, that uh, 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 That is there for mutual में, peace. Ukraine uh, में जंग चल रहा है. Yes sir. UN ने कुछ किया है. Uh, yes sir. Numerous resolutions have been passed in the general assembly. Resolutions किसी ने परवाह की है उसकी? So because they are not enforceable, but then. Thank you very uh, much. Uh, yes sir. Uh, Gaza में जंग चल रहा है. Yes sir. UN ने क्या किया है? Uh, sir, I recalled one thing that the UN had done with respect to Ukraine conflict. Can I just? Please. Yes, sir. So, so a grain deal had been brokered by the UN uh, uh, secretary. It was brokered by Turkey. Get your facts right. Yes, sir. It fell through, right? It's broken. Yes, sir. UN ने क्या किया है अभी तक? अब मैं आपको बताता हूँ. Paul Wilson की किताब पढ़िए, The Tomb. Yes, sir. कि अगर UN में जितने diplomats बैठे हैं, वो सब घर चले जाएं और उसको night club में बना दिया जाए, तो it will serve mankind much better than it is doing now. सुन रही हैं? Yes, sir. सो so, मैं समझता हूँ आप क्या कर रहे हैं लेकिन उसका ट्रैक रिकॉर्ड जीरो भाषण देते हैं समझ रहे हैं रेजोल्यूशन yes, पास करते हैं वार्निंग्स करते हैं वो तो आप कुछ नहीं है चाय कॉफी नहीं वो तो विस्की पीते हैं बाद में <laughs> और उनके जो महान सेक्रेटरी जनरल अभी हाल ही में सी एन एन की इंटरव्यू थी दो महीने पहले तो वो बोलने लगे कि मेरे पास ताकत नहीं है मेरे पास फौज नहीं है मेरे पास पैसा नहीं है सिर्फ मेरी आवाज है जिसको मैं उठाऊंगा तो अगला सेक्रेटरी जनरल एक भारतीय पॉलिटिशियन बनेगा जिनकी बहुत ऊंची आवाज होती है अ लाउड वॉइस इज ओनली रिक्वायरमेंट अकॉर्डिंग टू हिम टू बी सेक्रेटरी जनरल ऑफ द यूएन ओके बेटा अच्छा अब विदेश सेवा का बताइए व्हाई विदेश सेवा Yes, so um, so uh, IFS has a lot of functions that it uh, performs for the interest of Indians, not just within India but also abroad with respect to the diaspora. Uh, India is uh, leading in terms of the diaspora that is residing in different countries. So to protect their interest. How much is our diaspora? Uh, sir, it's approximately three crores twenty-two lakhs uh, as per MEA. and so also uh, to secure the interest of indians while negotiating agreements and treaties in international forums like un wto and other multilateral institutions so this is what i believe it does using the indian foreign service is effective definitely sir give me an example of what we have achieved uh, okay one area in which we were successful okay 
सर आई थिंक सॉफ्ट पावर डिप्लोमेसी इज समथिंग दैट वी आर करेंटली बींग बेटर एट विच इज एविडेंस्ड बाय इन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री बींग रिकोगनाइज एज द इंटरनेशनल ईयर ऑफ मिलिट्स सो आर डायट्री हैबिट्स विच आर ऑल्सो इन लाइन विद सस्टेनेबिलिटी हैव बीन प्रमोटेड मेनली डू टू द डिप्लोमैटिक एफर्ट्स सो बिसाइड्स दिस Uh, the peacekeeping operations that india has uh, sent to un that have also facilitated resolution of uh, conflicts and uh, uh, taking situation under control and hostilities which conflict resolution came through un peacekeeping efforts uh, yes sir, sir the last that i know of is uh, in the abay region of south sudan i served it, as your ambassador there yes sir that conflict is continuing yes sir the un peacekeepers ran away So, but right now, also an Indian contingent is available. That I know. There. That's in yes, South sir. Sudan. Yes, There's nothing to do with Abia. What happened? The war continues. The peacekeepers are there. So, what have they achieved? Sir, uh, of course, they cannot meddle with the internal affairs that are so therefore, responsible. Therefore, what do they do? So they try to alleviate the uh, the casualties that are resulting from such hostilities. They also try to protect the interest of Indians that might be residing there. जरूर आइए भारतीय विदेश सेवा में यू विल बी टेरिबली डिसअपॉइंटेड इन योर ड्रीम्स अबाउट व्हाट कैन बी अचीव बाय यू एंड पीस कीपर्स लेट मी अशोर यू ओके आई सर्व 38 इयर्स इन द सर्विस एंड आई एम 50 इयर्स इन काउंटी एंड आई स्टिल डील विद द यूएन बट यू हैव द राइट अप्रोच आई कॉम्प्लीमेंट यू थैंक यू सर आपने तो विड्रॉ कर लिया नहीं सर सर UN reforms. Yes, sir. Lot of talk about UN reforms. What is your take on this? Yes, sir. Uh, so I do believe that UN as a body needs to be reformed, particularly the UN Security Council, where we see that uh, um, an overwhelming viewpoint of the developed world is being put forward, and they misuse their veto powers to prevent important resolutions from being passed. so first of all this and the emerging geopolitical realities where uh, the developing countries are also increasingly contributing to the world economy they are uh, emo- uh, in terms of uh, their footprint in the geopolitics so there should be uh, expansion of the permanent membership and developing countries like india africa they should be accorded a voice in uh, the security council uh, how does the size of the security council expand so i'm not particularly sure about this i'll read about this sir there are demand that at least four countries should be included among the p5 so that it becomes p9 yes, which sir. are these four countries um uh, so can i take a guess i read it sure. a while ago uh, so india is there i believe so germany is also vying so japan is there and uh, uh, one voice from south africa So. Not South Africa, from Latin America. Latin America. Okay, so Latin America. We're at the moment talking of Brazil, but we Brazil, don't know, right? Okay, sir. With or without veto power. Uh, so I think the veto power can be done away with because uh, uh, if there are two countries that are at odds with each other, then it becomes very difficult to pass important resolutions. So there needs to be a reform with respect to the veto power. So as well. on the whole, the veto power should be done away with. Yes, sir. Or the UN should be done away with. Uh, no, sir. I don't necessarily believe this. League of Nations का सुना था आपने? Yes, sir. खत्म हो गई जब दूसरा पहले विश्व युद्ध के बाद बना था दूसरे विश्व युद्ध ने खत्म हो गया. Yes, sir. फिर संयुक्त राष्ट्र संघ आया. अब तीसरा विश्व युद्ध होगा तो ये अपने आप खत्म हो जाएगा. So it is too far-fetched to predict that a third world war can happen. You don't right think it's happening? No, sir. We cannot extrapolate the localized conflicts to believe that this will happen. <laughs> Very good. Very okay. smart. My next question. Yes, sir. We have problems with China. Yes, sir. What is the major problem with in India's major problem with China? So the major problem is our unresolved border agreement with China, that is the uh, leading to aggression at the line, uh, LAC, and which has also led to um, flare-ups. in 2017 when it happened at the doklam and in 2020 when it uh, happened in the near the pangong so so the undemarcated border has to be first settled so second 2020 was not exactly near the pangong so was also one of the theaters 
but sir. the main battle was fought somewhere else. Uh, so the Gogra Heights was there. Galwan. Galwan, Galwan Valley. Valley. Sorry, sir. Yeah. Okay, so uh, we have problems at how many places along the Indo-Chinese border? So there are uh, three sectors basically. So, so uh, the uh, northern one is uh, the Ladakh region we have. Uh, so the middle sector is uh, in Himachal Pradesh and the eastern one at Arunachal Pradesh. So so much so that they claim that uh, almost an entirety of Arunachal Pradesh uh, belongs to them. So that is a major they issue. Call it South Tibet. Yes, sir. And now I believe China started claiming that the whole of Ladakh is part of China. So I have not read. Have you heard of the this. nine dash line? China, which says. Yes, ये हमारी डाई इसके yes, अंदर sir. है yes, तो अभी वो 99 डैश बना रहा है उसको वो चंद्रमा तक जाएगी मार्स तक जाएगी प्लूटो तक जाएगी बोलेगी ये सब हमारा है सो विद रिस्पेक्ट टू पोल आल्सो कितने कितने देश लड़े थे फर्स्ट विश्व युद्ध में सो इन द फर्स्ट दूसरे विश्व युद्ध में कितने थे 50 आज कितने देश किसी ना किसी जंग में इन्वॉल्वड है 72 तीसरा विश्व युद्ध हो रहा है कि नहीं हो रहा I don't necessarily think so, sir. So, major powers are still not. Okay. Involved. Major powers are still not what? So, still not directly at loggerheads and like those Rusia who have a say hai, in geopolitics. Uh, Ukraine mein chai pi raha unke saath? Sir, not all the major powers. America kya kar raha hai Houthis ke saath Red Sea mein? Sir, in, se hai? sir, these are proxy wars it is trying to fight to secure its interests. I just told you how many countries are today at war, yes, either sir. internally or with others. Yes, sir. You don't think it is more than first and second world war combined? Shouldn't we call this the third world war? <laughs> Coming back to our neighborhood. Yes, sir. What is happening in Bangladesh? Yes, sir. What important development is going to take place in Bangladesh in the next 10-15 days? So, Bangladesh is gearing up for its next elections in the first week of January. And um, there have been new uh, labor unrest going on in Bangladesh. So, labor unrest? Yes, sir. And also the opposition has been severely muzzled by the ruling regime. So that is also up in arms and is saying that they will boycott the next elections because the opposition is not being allowed to uh, freely campaign or bring out its... Uh, How will it impact India? So it will impact India because the current uh, dispensation is uh, sharing a friendly relationship with India. There have been numerous development projects in association with them. And we are not particularly sure whether if the opposition, if it comes to power, would share such a camaraderie with India. So uh, India needs to uh, develop a peaceful relationship what with all What is the name of the opposition? So um, it is led by Begum Khalda Zia. I do not particularly the remember. The track records of Begum Khalda Zia vis-a-vis -vis India is not good? Yes, sir. Okay, ma'am. So, in <coughs> continuing with uh, that question, yes, uh, if Khalida Zia's party, the BNP, comes into power, uh, what do you expect? Uh, how do you think? Because China is very active, as you know, in Bangladesh. Uh, how, uh, how do you think? Which way will the relationship go? India-Bangladesh relationship? Ma'am, I believe that India could can... could go, Yes, sir. Hmm. Uh, Ma'am, I believe that India can use a two-pronged approach to continue forging a strong relationship with Bangladesh. Ma'am, first would be our cultural ties. Our history is bound together. India had been uh, responsible for the creation of the state itself. Responsible? Uh, Ma'am, I would say that it facilitated... Mukti bhaini, it. Mukti bhaini ne kiya hai. Hmm. With India's help, of course. With yes, ma'am. And ma'am, besides cultural ties, our developmental projects that have been signed in association with Bangladesh can be capitalized upon to continue a peaceful but, uh, relationship. The BNP says no. The BNP's history, they, they changed the history books when the BNP and uh, was in power. I mean, the, the husband, when he was in, Mr. You know, General Zia was in power when he was the president. They changed the history books to say that Pakistan was helpful in liberating Ma'am, I think... Bangladesh. So, it was yeah. a very, it's strange. And India was the aggressor. India se bachaya. You know, so it's a, it's, you have, it's a very complex situation, not so uh, simple. Whatever we do, it's, they have their own perception. So Bangladesh is not going to, uh, or the, if the opposition comes in power, they are not going to very easily, you know, be friendly towards India. Because they, they have got- They will not be friendly towards India. BNP. They will not be friendly. BNP will not be. Easy. Not so she said, we can do this to make them. I said, not easy to make do that. 
So they are very uh, not, they want to have no ties with India if possible. So yes, ma'am, I agree there are issues, but also the <coughs> geopolitical realities now are different. Pakistan itself is now going through a political instability, China. economic turmoil. What will it do? Pakistan will not do. China is very strong. Pakistan will not do. Sir, it is right now not in a position to challenge India directly or through another country. So, this is what is happening in Punjh? Yes, sir, there, ha there has been uh, violence erupting at the border and uh, these events have continued despite the uh, domestic situation of Pakistan. But when it comes to supporting <coughs> another, uh, like supporting Bangladesh against India, I think India can play a major role because we are now supporting emerging. Supporting Bangladesh economy. against India, you think Bangladesh is going to fight India? It will take me 15 minutes to destroy their army. What is the dream of that Bangladesh will be able to do it? I have a question and you will forgive me for asking you. Okay, Bidi? Yes. Your relationship is one of the dharms. Yes, sir. What are the dreams in that dharm? Yes, sir. Sir, I believe... Be honest, be open with us. Yes, sir. Uh, so, um, the inadequacies that this religion has with which I also have personal issues is uh, the lack of rights to women or the inadequate rights being provided to the women which has severely hampered their development. Aapne uniform civil code ka naam suna hai? Yes, sir. Wo kya deta hai? Uh, uh, sir, with respect to civil laws, it prescribes that a single code of law should be applicable to all the communities. What will happen to women from your religion then? Sir, I think they will be uh, uh, better off if Thank you. a UCC comes into place. Thank course. you for being honest. Yes. In fact, my personal opinion, Uniform Civil Code is the wrong is a wrong name. It's the Muslim Women's Emancipation Act. Because all the other communities they have it. Yes, sir. Except. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's not meant to be a criticism. Yes, sir. I agree. It's just a statement. And thank you for being straightforward. We we'll, I like that very much. Thank you, sir. And it was, it was based on the Christian uh, concept, so mm. they are also in it. Anyway, <laughs> ma'am. Uh, Very so, good. Uh, Please. Welcome to the Portal Service. <laughs> so, so, I just also uh, coming away, uh, continuing in that vein, you know, uh, yes. India's uh, first neighborhood first policy. Yes, you know, Bangladesh is a, an important neighbor for us, and so are all the others. Yes. So, what is it about, and which countries does it cover? Are you aware? What is it all about? Uh, yes, ma'am. Uh, India's neighborhood uh, first policy and also the Gujarat doctrine, which was based along a similar spirit, says that with respect to certain countries like uh, Maldives, Sri Lanka and uh, uh, Bangladesh, Nepal, India should uh, forge a um, good relationship so as to have uh, uh, better partners around and it has uh, continued to do so, be it with respect to development assistance or credit help to uh, Sri Lanka, which was which has recently gone through a default in their uh, payments. And um, even with respect to Nepal, we <coughs> share historical ties and uh, development assistance has been extended by India on multiple which are all occasions. the countries covered on this? Are you aware? Which countries are covered under this? Ma'am, I can t uh, take a guess uh, like uh, I said, ma'am, Sri Lanka, Maldives, Bangladesh, Nepal, Bhutan, Myanmar. Yes, ma'am, Bhutan Myanmar. as well. Gujarat doctrine ka apne zikr kiya hai. Yes, sir. Sabse zyada nafrat videsh seva mein hum kis doctrine se karte hai? Maan mein? Ye pagal tha. I'm sorry to have to say this. I worked with the fellow. Kya mila? Pakistan mein jitne mere not even entered service. No, let me let me tell you. Ye yo tarif kar rahe hain na Gujarat doctrine ka reference mat dijiye. Okay, sir. Talk about India's neighborhood first policy. The limited point which sir is saying is Gujarat doctrine ko ab mat mention kijiye. Okay, sir. It is not a very. Jitne mere intelligence operatives the phone karke saaron ke naam de diye Pakistan ko. Chun chun ke mara hoon. और दाढ़ी को हिलाता को ऐसे करता मुराजिन किया था नहीं मुराजिन did it for that kahuta only he only did it for kahuta गुजराल गेप तो एवो बाबानी बाबानी दास गुप्ता है जो भी इसका चमचा था सब के नाम दे दिए and they were all slaughtered अब यूँ गुजराल डॉक्टरिंग करता था उसका जिक्र मत करिए आप okay yes sir noted otherwise you are brilliant last question I just like to ask you G20 has just about culminated last year. We had the summit. Yes, uh, Briefly, what is the G20 and what was India's presidency all about and what are the main takeaways? You can, two or three main takeaways from that. 
Yes, ma'am. What is the theme? Yes, ma'am. Uh, Ma'am, the theme for India's 2023 oh, yeah. presidency was uh, uh, One Earth, One Family, One Future and uh, in the spirit of Vasudev Kutumbakam. Uh, Ma'am, G20 is basically um, uh, coming together of the developed and the developing nations to discuss the uh, emerging issues that encompass uh, environment, economy, geopolitics and uh, Ma'am, uh, India tried to uh, <clears throat> via this presidency it tried to uh, put forward the view of the developing nations be it with respect to the climate justice or uh, uh, with respect to how they should be uh, compensated and how uh, the developing nations should be accorded a better voice in other multilateral forums voice of the global south yes ma'am voice of the global south and what any other key t key takeaway from this summit um, uh, ma'am also uh, if we uh, AU uh, look was included that's an important Sorry, ma'am. The African Union. Yes, ma'am. The African Union was included. Ma'am, if we talk about the event also, it was also a show of uh, um, India's uh, diplomatic efforts that have been uh, to have earning find consensus. Uh, yes, ma'am. To forge consensus. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Thank you. Good. Thank you. Okay. Just take a couple of them. Yes, sir. In this G20, yes, sir. how much of the world's GDP and what percentage of the total exports are sort of represented under the G20 umbrella? Sorry, sir, I'm not aware about the facts. When you are giving an answer on G20, yes. just keep these two figures in mind. Okay, sir. The G20 countries comprise together almost 85% of the world's GDP. Yes, sir. And 75% of, of the exports. world's exports. Yes, sir. I think 65% of the population. Yes. Etc. So, yes. which is why these figures give a perspective, all right? Now, I'll come to the question since the answer is that I should get the marks. Tell me that you have been in the G20 in G20, China abstained from attending a certain meeting and Egypt, Saudi Arabia and Turkey abstained from another venue. They attended all other meetings. They were represented in all other meetings. Why? What were those places? Okay. So, I, uh, I'm not particularly aware about these events. Uh, so, but if I were to take a guess, Please do. then uh, the, um, the Egypt and UAE, as you said, they abstained. No, uh, uh, UAE came. Uh, yes, Egypt, Turkey and yes. Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia. Yeah. So it might have been Jammu and Kashmir. Exactly. Yes, Kashmir Srinagar ki jo meeting thi, usme yes, logon ne abstain kiya. Yes, sir. China ne kahan se kiya? So it might have been a northeastern state. Or Kiki hui hai. Arunachal. Arunachal, yes, sir. Absolutely correct answer. On the dot. Uh, a quick one. Ye jo pichle kuch dinon se agyat hamlaavaron ka ham bada sun rahe hain. Canada mein ho. Yes, sir. They are performing so well, Agyat Hamlavar, all over Pakistan. Right? Somebody seems to have polished off Daud Ibrahim also. But we don't know. Why can't Pakistan officially say that this is the last rites of the Nawaz and this is the and these are the last rites? They are neither confirming nor denying Daud no, Ibrahim is alive. Know. Not reacting. Not reacting at all. That's true. Why? Uh, sir, I'm not sure whose last rites Pakistan. Uh, Daud Ibrahim. Ibrahim. Sir, last I read that he was poisoned in jail. Fair enough. Last rites to hoti hai, bhai. Nawaz and Janaza. Sir, I didn't know that he had passed away. Okay, there's a there's a lot of traffic on, in there. Okay. Saying that he has been poisoned and that he has passed away. Yes, sir. Okay, let them at least say that he was poisoned, but he's okay. Or say that he was poisoned, he's passed away. Yes, sir. Or that he's yet to make up his mind. Kuch to <laughs> <bolenge>. <laughs> Sir, one reason I believe is that they're not saying that they will be called out on a global scale for supporting terrorism or those who have acted against India's interest, for which India has been demanding on a global scale that action should be brought, they should be brought to justice. It's a very long answer to a very uh, Long short. explanation to a very short one. Question. They would have to first admit that he was under. Yes, sir. In their That's country. Right. Yes, sir. Just like Osama. So, so, so far, been denying that he ever existed. He never existed in our country. Yes, sir. Hai nahi. Right. Ten million dollars wala uh, item, hai na? So that is the diplomatic nuance. Okay, sir. 
दैट्स द रीज़न अच्छा आपका नाम है वर्दा वर्दा खान शुड इट बी खान और खानम सर खान इज अ पॉपुलर सर नेम मुस्लिम्स लाइक श्रुति सिंह शुड बी श्रुति कौर नॉट दैट्स एग्जैक्टली इट Sis, uh, the core is just uh, used among the six. Uh, it exactly. literally means princesses. Sikhon ki hi baat kar raha hoon that there are lots of girls who are writing sing. Yes, Fully. Chaliye more popular. Varda ka kya matlab hota hai? Sir, Varda means rose in Arabic. Oh. Hmm. Varda. Okay. Who brought rose water or rose essence to India? Who is credited with bringing? <laughs> you know this? Yes, sir. Not aware of it. Noor Jahan's mother, actually, but Noor Jahan brought it. Okay. जो रोज का है. अच्छा एक बहुत छोटा सा सवाल. Yes sir. हम लोग border, international border. Yes sir. ठीक है. Border, L O C, L A C. हम्म. तीन लफ्जों का अल्फाज का जिक्र करते हैं. क्यों? What is the difference? Yes sir. Uh, sir, L O C was agreed as the ceasefire line between India and Pakistan. Uh, pursuant to the Kargil War in 1999, and uh, LAC was uh, uh, so basically, sir, so LOC and LAC with respect to Pakistan. 99. It was Kargil done. Kargil's war. Kargil's war. Kargil's war. Kargil's war. Yes, sir. So LOC had been violated and refixed and all that. Please also give me the difference between border and LOC. so loc can be seen as a ceasefire line where uh, the two countries had uh, fought each other so it was mutually decided that we will withdraw from this line okay. and border is rest of the land area that india shares with the neighboring country so in my okay. opinion all right all right carry on and why is lac differently named you could have a line of control with china also and or border with china so maybe to differentiate between the two no 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 it's not just uh, about Not just that. So besides this, I'm not aware of the. Please read up. Sure, sir. It's a very important uh, distinction. It's all right. I'm through. Thank you. Okay. Uh, what was your, uh, what is your uh, optional subject? So sociology. Sociology. Okay. Have you heard about a program, Jal Jeevan Mission? Sorry, sir. Jal Jeevan Mission. Yes, sir. Jal Jeevan Mission. Yeah. What are the social implications of this mission, Jal Jeevan Mission? Social implications. So, uh, so can I take a minute to think about it? so uh, jal jeevan mission that talks about providing a pipe drinking water and an operational uh, uh, tap to every household so it will uh, help in uh, providing socio economic justice to um, our underprivileged citizens and so it can be seen as a, a some sort of a cultural capital also because when people are able to get uh, the basic necessities then they are equipped to um, direct their efficiencies towards education and other productive ventures so so in that sense i think do you think that this mission has also ensured water governance in india water governance yes sir how so in terms of uh, so information education communication about saving of uh, water and about watershed development rain water harvesting so it has also uh, about water use efficiency it has been vocal about and how it can be judiciously used water in india okay that's fine okay right uh do you think that we are in the age of some kind of surveillance capitalism you must have heard about this term in sociology yes sir what exactly is this so this was uh, uh, given by new, uh, new sociological uh, theorist post modernist uh, to be specific sir like derrida and foucault they used to say that uh, in uh, uh, the coming age people will be controlled by creations of mass media and uh, um, these will have a, a, a too much impact on the psychology of individuals and these can also be taken control of by the political elite yes. so i'm done so yes no no i'm out Yes, we finished. Are we yeah. through with the questions? No. You're very good. Thank you, sir. I'm uh, King's English. I'm a purist. Who purist? I mean, I like my language as number two player. I like my mother's language. My mother's language is Hindi. So, say developed. It's not developed. Yes. Developed. Say. Developed. Thank you. Developing. 
Developing. Not developing. Yes, sir. Say it. Developing. There you are. Excellent. Yes. Sir. Welcome to the foreign service. Thank you, sir. Galti mat kijega, galti bhi mat kijega. Ab samajh gaye aap? In that case, she she should be better. You have knowledge of Urdu. Sir, of spoken only, spoken but I'm not like. very great at it like she my parents. She should be better than us. Gulab ka fool hai, beti hamari. So all the best, Madam. Well Madam, Madam, you will please step out for a while. Yes, then sir. we'll call you back and give you our feedback. Okay. Right. Thank you, sir. Thank you, ma'am. Okay. Walk a little more erect. Yes. Okay, sir. Don't stoop. Yeah, no slouch. Don't stoop. What are you? What are you? Say twenty-four. So you, may I be totally blunt? You are very good. Thank you, sir. Okay. Thank you. You'll sir. be an asset to whichever service you join. There are some other issues which my colleagues will mention. But you were consistent. You're well behaved. You're a very pleasing personality. Very relaxed. Thank you, sir. Bharat ki beti ho. Definitely, sir. Ma'am, after you. Uh, just that you know, uh, you very stiff. You were very stiff. If you're stiff, then you know it doesn't. Uh, you you can't be yourself. Yes, yes. be relax. H hand gesticulation can be there. You can just relax and uh, say whatever you have to say. It was all very well done. But you need to be just relaxed, okay. and include everybody. You were not including everybody in your answer. Sometimes, okay. once in a while, you're looking, but otherwise, whoever asked the question, you were focusing on them. So you need to include everybody. It's very important. Okay. And even as mentioned, you were slouching when you walked in. You were slouching when you walked out. Yes, ma'am. You know, ऐसे करके गया. क्यों? आराम से जाइए जैसे normal है. Don't be so nervous. If you do, if you're nervous, it can affect your performance. All right, and. You can think, as you mentioned. May I take a moment? It's excellent. That's a very good thing to think before you speak, yes. and you did it very well along uh, along the whole way. And why uh, why were you catching your stomach when you went out? Stupid. I don't mind dancing. You just walked like this suddenly. You know. So try and avoid that. That was very good, and I'm sure you will do very very well. When is your interview? Ma'am, 18 January. 18 January. So you have a little time. Just all all points which you said you don't know. Just brush them up. Just Uh, you know, and read yes. and read the papers every day, and I'm sure you'll do well. Yes, I'll add one more point. Yes. You know, it's something among the Indian women. From their early childhood, they have been told to indirectly to be submissive, and uh, you know, and that, that's the reason why ladies in general, like ma'am, is, is an exception, <laughs> but. You know they will be slightly slouched. Yes. Right. Don't be. You are going to represent India in whichever service you choose, and there you have to be in Salman Khan's language, <laughs> dabang. <laughs> dabang. You have to be dabang. Yes. For now, yes. yes. If I this is to be, to be done, it has to be done. Right. Yes. And now that's the personality part. And only one more advice I'll give. Yes, sir. You see, interview is you'll not be able to score in the interview just because you are smiling and pleasing and this, that, and the other. You have to do well on the contents, and therefore read on the DAF subjects. Whatever you have given in your DAF, the place you come from, the subject that you have chosen to graduate, your uh, optional subject. Yes, sir. And current developments. Yes, sir. Isko dekh ke you have about three weeks plus time. Prepare well. We want to see you in the service. Okay, sir. I'll just give. Isse bada ashirwad kya mil sakta hai? Yes, sir. I'll just point add one more thing. Yes, sir. When you give an answer. Yes, sir. In your effort to be detailed and comprehensive. Yes, sir. You tend to give a longish answer. Yes, sir. And yes, sir. immediately right after the question is asked. Yes, sir. I have a small suggestion. Please practice it over the next week, ten days. Mm -hmm. That after the question, you pause for a second or two and structure the answer in such a way that you are able to prioritize the most important part first, then the second and third. Yes, Not more than three points. 
and take a max of 15 to 20 seconds. Yes, sir. Right? When you slow down in your delivery, you are also able to think the next about the next sentence yes, sir. and which word to use. Yeah. Right? As the answer develops. Yes, sir. Okay? You are able to think on your feet. And ultimately, there is a trick. If you mention towards the end of the answer, you can even lead the board into asking you the Excuse next me, question. I, so I can oh, give sorry, the bait. Record karne yeah. Ji. Sorry. Ji. I can give the bait. For you the can bait. give the bait. Yeah, you for example, if you are talking about Gaza, then you can go to the tunnel. If you have knowledge of the tunnel. Okay, sir. So, you know, you, you can use this. Yes, sir. But that's it. That's it. That's an art which will probably towards the end of your retirement as an <laughs> IFS officer will help you very well how you how you lead the discussion. So please practice it. Yeah, practice now. Also. Yeah. Very, very good, but please practice this before a mirror among okay. your peer group just yeah. do that. Yes. Okay? All the best. Sorry, one Thank more you, last point. I just want to say, you know, your uh, reflective walking. Yeah. And uh, reading non-fiction, you know, there's going to be questions on anything yes. in your DAF. So just be prepared. What non-fiction? Why? Uh, and what is reflective walking, etc. You know, and how you you have to be able to yes. speak on Justify. all these things. Be yes. sure when you are uh, on whatever's in your DAF. Yes. Yeah. All the best. Yeah. Uh, simply, Ramsey is wonderful. Hmm. Very good. All, all the best. The best. Thank, sure. thank you, sir. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, sir. <laughs>